Hello, my name is Zane Peary, and for our second case study, we looked at social business, full speed ahead, or proceed with caution. Um, for introduction, this case study explains how, as of recent, social media technologies are becoming a massive part of our daily lives. Businesses are trying to implement these systems across management and to company-wide employees. Applications like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram <clears throat> have been implemented into many companies as of recent, as well as other specialized social media systems. The main issue with these information systems is the implementation across all employees and the understanding of why this change is needed. Many people are used to pen and paper, email, and in-person communication. As the world is becoming more modernized and technologically advanced, so are businesses. So for the first case study question, management, organization, and technology factors responsible for impeding adoption of internal corporate social networks. So as previously discussed, the main issues are the understanding of why employees need to change, how this will actually help the company, and, um, and then this will help develop an incentive um, to help employees understand um, both how and why uh, this, this new system is necessary. So once employees understand how this new system will work, they will soon begin to see why it will help their business. Then the incentives of better efficiency, more productivity, and reduced operating costs will follow. Question two, compare the experiences implementing internal social networks of the two organizations described in this case. Why were they successful and what role did management play in this process? So as for uh, Bayer Mat uh, Material Sciences, was able to implement a social media system by making all of the tools more accessible. They demonstrated the value of the network to all employees in pilot projects. They offered a reverse mentoring program for senior executives and trained experts in the company to assist those throughout the organization. Once this was set up, performance indicators were created to measure success of the social network. Overall, Bayer employed a successful management system and game plan to implement a new technology with the company. So they did a great job from the start um, and just like overall setting everything up, they made sure the executives were accounted for. They made sure to train um, experts within the company. So if there were any issues, they could be um, there could be troubleshooting going on inside the company, so they didn't have to call um, IT companies or any other external service. It could all be done in house. And then they also were able to demonstrate the value of the network to all employees, which really helped. Um, it, it made it a lot easier for them to implement um, this new system into their company. And then as for Carlos Bake Shop, they knew that they had a newfound national presence that they needed to capitalize on. Um, since their, uh, their TV show on TLC, um, but since they were more a traditional company, they had only really used a paper-based system, but what was good is that they knew a change was necessary. So at first, the employees resisted the system, but once the benefits were demonstrated, Chatter, which is the application they used, began finding success, and their operations uh, began working better than ever. Question three, should all comp companies implement internal enterprise social networks? Why or why not? Um, I believe that all businesses, are, all businesses are different, so I don't believe all companies should implement enterprise social networks. Um, I work in a restaurant, and we use carbon printing and pen and paper to run most of our orders and tasks. Um, but however, we do use an application called Homebase that keeps track of our entire staff and our schedules. So for example, if I needed to take a, a day off, like a week or two weeks from now, I could go into the schedule. Um, and put in a request and then um, my boss will go in like at the end of each week before he makes the new week schedule and see that I've requested that and then um, he'll give me that off and then I'll get an alert that says uh, my request has been accepted and so it just overall just makes it a lot easier that I don't have to individually text him or send him an email and ask him it's all done on this one app so it centralizes everything so I think that really helps. And then as for communication, if I needed to message a, a coworker for anything, I can just go straight on the app. I don't even I don't have to have their personal phone number or email. I just go on the app and I can send them a quick, easy message. 
So over, I mean, overall, it just helps centralize things and ease of access is a big thing too. It helps a lot. Um, but overall, um, since each business and industry is all different, I don't think each business necessarily needs to implement an internal enterprise social network, but um, when used properly, it can be very helpful and help a lot. Uh, questions for the class. Um, I, I wanted to ask, um, do you feel different generations of people are more open or closed-minded on implementing these internal social networks? Um, overall, I mean, I, I can't speak for other generations but mine, but I just I thought that since a lot of our lives we've been handling new technologies and it seems each year there's a new app that's huge and then we've been with social media for several years now. Um, I feel it's a lot easier for us to adapt and like adjust, I guess, and be more accepting of a new application or a new social media system um, than older generations where they're more like a pen and paper traditional lifestyle. And so they might not necessarily want to have to quit emailing and getting on this new weird app um, to start doing their communications. So I just thought that was an interesting question because I could understand both sides of, of how and why people don't necessarily want to try out a new technology. And then another question. If you have been around any internal social networks in current or previous jobs you've had, how did you feel about it and why? So this just went back to what I previously previously discussed, but home base, the application we use, um, I find it to be very helpful and I do enjoy um, the ease of access factor and then the ease of communication that it offers. And then in conclusion, um, internal social networks are a huge factor in modern business. As we have learned, they can either hurt or improve a business based upon how well implementation of the new system was handled. Businesses that thoroughly explain the system, the benefits, and why it was necessary for that specific company tended to do better at adjusting to the new network. Companies that requested employees to use a new system that they weren't properly informed of tended to resist implementation of the application. Internal social networks are not needed for every business but can be a positive factor if used correctly. So the most important three things um, that I picked up on were um, you need to explain to your employees how it works and then why it will work for us and why, why we need to implement it, why it's going to be useful. And then once you understand the how and why, then you'll begin to see the incentives. You're going to start seeing that um, the ease of communication. It's going to be a lot easier to organize things with your coworkers. Um, you'll be able to improve efficiency and production. And just overall, um, it can be very helpful for, for all sorts of factors. But, but yeah, those three um, seem to be the most important when determining how successful um, an internal system is going to do within a business. Um, but thank you.